this one. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Lush Life channel. Uh, I am joined here with the second best part of the channel, Mrs. Lush, myself, Leon Lush. Best part of the channel. Josh the Snake. Josh the Slithery. Is that how you really feel? That's kind of messed up. I just sang a love song to you in the intro. He does all the work. Anyways, enough of all that nonsense, okay? That's not why Happy we're here. Happy birthday. Ha oh my God, that's right. Happy birthday, Josh the Slithery. <laughs> Not when this video goes up, but at the time of this recording, it is Josh's birthday. In fact, right now, he is probably out doing Jaeger bombs and... Definitely your I don't know, what do you do when you're, what do you do when you're in your early 20s and it's your birthday? Maybe a brewery Bowling or, or a brewery, maybe like a, a wine, like a paint, paint and wine night, a painting. No, he's definitely not no, a he's freaking too, paint yeah, night. Sorry. sorry, he's not old and married yet. Anyways, I got a comment recently that we should react to some like some medical memes, right? Because Mrs. Lush is a nurse and it would be fun to kind of see if maybe she thinks something's really funny or she gets something that I don't understand or if maybe I think something's funny and she, th she thinks it's stupid. I think probably I'm just gonna hate most of it, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna look through. I, I pull up a couple of pages of like certain, you know, nursing meme and medical meme Instagram accounts and some some lists and stuff just to see if if we can't get a elicit a bit of a reaction out of out of the RN in the household. Now remember, honey, rule number one is even if it's not funny, you have to overreact and laugh very loudly because we're making YouTube video. No pressure. And no matter what, we have to be loud and what if I have a obnoxious. Favorite meme? You already have one off the top of your head that I you want me to right pull off up. The top of my head. Let's start out with it. So she just sent so it to I my. I knew right off the top of my head that I had. A she's like, this is my meme. favorite meme, and I haven't seen it yet. So let's take a look. In order to comply with privacy regulations, we are not allowed to call our patients by name. Will, Will the lady with the itchy vagina please come in? <laughs> is, wait, is that a real thing? You can't. No. Is that it? It's not a new thing, right? Well, I mean, they always call you by name in a doctor's office. Yeah, usually first name, not full name, especially when you go out in the waiting room, ideally. You're not supposed to expose the patient's full identity. You're not supposed to be like, Leon Lush, you're here for your penile discharge. <laughs> <laughs> they would never do that. <laughs> but I guess. Oh, man. Will the lady with the itchy veg please come in? Yeah, or oh, you should see what happens when I, um, when we can't pronounce someone's name. Yeah. You're like, oh, hey, you, come in. You like recognize them by face, but you don't know like how to actually say their name. You're like, oh, okay, will you um come into the office? Please? I used to happen to me a lot in the restaurant industry. We were supposed to pronounce people's names and yeah, we were like really dropping hard. off there. I used to give it my best shot. Mr. Sagakistance. Yeah. Thank or you for use coming the last in. name. Yes. Mr. Ms. When you wake up, I forget to get that one guy a glass of water because you can't stop thinking about work. I feel, like I feel like that's kind of true for any patient. I mean, sorry, like customer service Yeah, that happens, dude. Night, restaurant nightmares were a real thing when I, yeah. for most people that work in the industry, you have nightmares of like being in the weeds. That's, and just to be clear, even though it's a medical field, there's also a customer service component to it. Oh, of course, dude. 100%. It's hugely customer service oriented. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna like this one. Get well soon on your pretendinitis. Pretendinitis. I read that as like a fake disease for people that are pretending they're hurt, but is pretendinitis an actual thing? No. I mean, oh, no. You, oh, you I had it right. The first time. Oh, see, the way you said it made me think that, like, you know, you can be like pre diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> I have pre tendonitis. No, you have actual tendonitis. I legit have actual tendonitis. And he does. I have actual tendonitis. Little sidebar. No, you know what? I won't get into it, okay? Please don't. It's I called... don't want to hear. Nobody wants to hear about all your <laughs> assing. A little sympathy would be nice from my betrothed, okay? You have to be dead to get my sympathy. Nobody tells you this. Everyone's like, ooh, dating a nurse or being married to a nurse, it's so great because they take care of people. No, they get home and they're sick of taking care of people. And then you get stuck with comments like that. You to have to be my... actually ill. Actually to dead to get me. my sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's impressed when I get very ill. Yeah. This is what I'm talking Cost, about. Nobody cold, understands. Like, oh, yeah, they're so sympathetic and they take care of people for a living. No. 
No. They use all of that at their job and then come home. And I'm like, hon, I have 104 fever. I just threw up 45 times and I can't feel my legs. She's like, And I yeah. tell you, you're the loudest puker in the world. Yeah, yeah. She's like, call me when you're really sick. <laughs> when you have a super busy shift and didn't have time to finish everything, but fortunately, the nurse taking over is awesome and says, don't worry, go get some rest. This is your reaction. God, they, they you actually had to hit play on an office gift? That is, that is a terrible format. Don't I can't even with that. I hate it. Yeah, I'm pretty mad. <laughs> when you made your rounds and all your patients have requests, I hate it. I'm just going to say I hate it if something is just not even close to funny. My face when non-medical people try to give me medical advice. That happens a lot. I'm sure it does. And it's typically... As a non-medical person, that's such a pretentious meme, though. But I get it. Like, it's... I feel like... Well, what I was going to say is typically in my experience, it's people who are interested in homeopathic remedies. Sure. Uh, which... You know. Or have a propensity to just go to WebMD for everything and read the top three bullet no, points. No, no. For me, it's more people that are like, ooh, try this sage around your house and you'll feel better <laughs> and you won't have asthma anymore. Hell yeah, dude. Hit them with that sage yeah. inhaler. <laughs> Being a nurse is weird. We witness traumatic things and maintain a poker face. But then we have a mental breakdown losing a pen. That's probably relatable for you. Yeah. I won't even get into the things at home that are less significant than losing a pen. Like? When I have a hurt elbow and I can't get any sympathy from you. <laughs> when you take off your patient's TED stockings and those skin flakes hit you. Do you know what they're referring to? Oh, God. You definitely want to know. TED stocking, are they like the large compression socks? Yep. Yeah, for, it's like psoriasis. They're compression socks, so yeah. it helps with, like, you know, swelling and right, circulation. Right, but the skin gets super dry and girl. Oh, yeah. man. When you take that off, it snows. Oh, boy. Happy Nurses Week to someone who has seen more penises than a prostitute. Uh, <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Yep. 24 medical memes that prove laughter is the best medicine. Well, they better come through. Today at the clinic, I told the patient not to eat fast food. We saw each other at McDonald's during lunch. <laughs> when you finally get a vacation in mid-flight, hear the announcement, is there a doctor or nurse on board? I'm starting to think that... Well... That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, that is very good. <laughs> that looks like a general anesthetist, too. And, and general... Hold on, hold on, that looks don't like tell a me. Surgeon. Oh. So he loves when his patients are under. An, an hold on, a general anest how do you say the a general anesthetist? Is that how you say it? Anesthesiologist. Damn. So the new goal of this video is to find one that legitimately makes us laugh. Yes. Alright, we're on a new page. Okay. Sir, I'm afraid your DNA was bit <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> just just like that, dude. Ask if and ye shall receive it. Maybe you should let me search. <laughs> yeah, you have you have better nursing meme surgeon capabilities than I do. Guys, we're running into it. Mrs. Lush is not impressed with me, with my meme pages for nursing. I used to suffer from depression, but through hard work, persistence, and never giving up, I now suffer from anxiety and depression. <laughs> oh, we got a laugh out of her. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. good. I like that one. Because it's too, that's <laughs> Is that what you want from me? Yes, thank you. Finally, you have transcended into being a real YouTuber. You're totally missing a whole section of video style memes. What? In the medical community. I'm just really upset that you don't know about this. I'm gonna ask you Do you, you know how to right find now. them? Exposing Leon Lush to Z Dog MD. Have you heard of Z Dog MD? Of course not. Why would I have heard of that? Watch. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. I'm Please. gonna show you. Yeah, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Oh, it's only three minutes. A lot minutes. of parody music videos where he changes the lyrics. A lot of those. Oh, uh, we're gonna get claimed though. License to YouTube by. Yeah, he got claimed, so we're not gonna watch this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, YouTube is such a vapid wasteland. You can't even watch a parody made by a doctor using a lame karaoke backing track because it's then claimed by Studio 71 on behalf of Karaoke Pop Hits, which then would get claimed on my channel if I tried to even react to the... I fucking hate the internet sometimes. Yeah, I quit.
I can't tell you what I really want You can only guess what it feels like And right now it's a steel knife in my windpipe I can't breathe but you still fight Cause you can fight Long as the wrong's done right Protocol's tight Half a drugs chug sedate I'm like a pin cushion I hate it I appreciate someone who's in such a prestigious field You yeah. know to that also then, see that, kind then, of the light of it. Well, that and then then has a creative side. I mean, oh, everyone so. everyone's met a million doctors in their life that yeah. are very, I guess what you would say, left brain only. And then to see a doctor that has right brain as well, creativity and all that stuff is fun. Don't forget that medicine is just as much of an art as it is a science. Oh, I'm sh yeah, sure. I'll give you that. Oh, I'll never do nothing to hurt them. Hippocratic oath. Dream I'm not no so right now. I'm forced just to torture them. They push full code. No one knows what his wishes were. His sister heard him say once. I don't want to be a vegetable. But no one agrees in the family. The caregiver Kate wants some comfort care. But Aunt Claire lives so far away. That her guilt eats her like a cancer. So she answers, wait, I think he'll wake. Ma'am, you ain't even in the state. The thing is, everything he sings about is so relevant. It's yeah, 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 funny. yeah. I'm sure. I didn't understand it. I but. mean, we can't watch the other one, but the Taylor Swift parody blank script is absolutely my favorite video of his because it talks about people coming in requesting narcotics. Blank script. Oh, that you makes so much sense. Blank... I can't sing. Never mind. <laughs> you just going to do it. Let it loose, hun. Spread your wings. Anyway. You're like a little caterpillar spider. I can't cocoon. sing though. Sprout. There's I've nothing's heard, gonna change I've that. I've heard you sing in the car before, jokingly, and it sounds pretty good. No. Uh, spoiler alert, Tomato Mafia, Mrs. Lush. I has some it, pipes. He's absolutely full of sh. <gasps> All right, she's no like Rihanna, but like she can hit some shower notes. <laughs> Don't get sidetracked on the whole point. Like we we transitioned to now the goal of this video being to find a single meme that made us laugh, which we kind of did. Okay, I showed you my favorite one in the beginning. Yeah, it was a pretty, it was all right. I mean, I rate that like a six out of 10. All right. Doctor, this is your spine, me? <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's a little more my style. That's so stupid. I think that I cannot, that's yeah. not even funny at all. <laughs> when you don't know how to answer the question, but you refuse to leave it blank, stupid, hate you. <laughs> there you go. Fine. <laughs> yeah. We got one. I just kind of wish it was a piece of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been better. Just like a like a little Boston, like a Boston lettuce just floating. Tanuki also just got a one up. It would. <laughs> Tanuki. <laughs> You're celebrating your graduation, then you remember you just moved from undergraduate to unemployed. Mm, that's the truth for everybody. Is that the meme of like you go to school and go two hundred thousand dollars in debt and then can't find employment when you graduate? Yeah, and that has nothing to do with medicine. No, it doesn't. That's just the American dream. <laughs> Polio hepatitis test. <laughs> that is funny, actually. Now that I see the Cheeto holding it in. This, this, you know what we should have looked at this that's whole time. That's better than the vegan poop. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said. We should have been looking at, this is more of like on the lines of anti-vaxxer meme right here. Yeah, I don't feel like going full on anti-vaxxer at the moment. No, no, no. I'm saying we don't have time to do that now, but nope. maybe a separate video for that could be in, in store because that one hit. That one hits different. Anyways, I, I feel like we've had our fun. We've done enough damage. Yeah. We finally, what did it take us, 15 minutes to finally like have a decent laugh? The Cheeto one. Yeah, the Cheeto one is, we can't top that. I'm sorry. Not gonna happen tonight. That's it. I'll tell you. So I'll be like, my expectations were definitely not met as far as the medical community memes. I thought it'd be like some clever, funny puns. Yeah. But it was 90% just absolute garbage memes. And then mm. two really funny <laughs> ones that really didn't. Kind of good too. <laughs> Really good too. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of left field. <laughs> you caught me off guard there. Oh shit. I don't know where. Before you guys go, a couple things coming up this month. I'm not the one time I'm not wearing the merch, but a lot of you in the comments have been asking questions about the the stuff I've been wearing, the hoodies, the hats with the three characters and the Tommy on them. That's a new line of merch I'm releasing uh, end of this month and planning on going live. Uh, Tomatoes.com, that's gonna be going. There's gonna be hoodies, t-shirts, and hats. Yeah. Uh, I've been spent the past couple months trying to kind of perfect the design and the feel and the embroidery and stuff, and I'm happy with it. So I'm looking forward to going live for that. So those will be available soon. But beyond that, uh, as always, we do appreciate the comments. And obviously like when you guys suggest things like this, 
Um, that's always fun as well because we love, love yeah, we love just kind of chilling in here, having a glass of wine and having a couple laughs at some memes. So yeah. one thing I want to do as well, uh, finally I'll end on this, is uh, Reddit. I'm trying to get my subreddit. If any of you Reddit users out there, I want to get that a little more active. I spend some time occasionally going over there, responding to questions, but I feel like that could be a good place. If you guys have ideas or memes that you think are funny, we could try and build a little community over there uh, and we could incorporate that, maybe do some giveaway style stuff uh, in the future if we can get that popping a little bit. And that provides a source uh, of content for us to react to some things that you guys think are funny. And uh, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, cut me off. <laughs>